today we're going to bring a 10 key and this is made for any kind of mobile station that you have we're going to put it on the laptop right now we're using a surface um, and we're going to see if we can actually expand that because currently we don't have any keys at the moment for this machine um, those that are using accounting or they're traveling and need something mobile or not only that if you're gaming and you're used to the 10 key this is a great thing to do so let's let's open it up and see what you get when you get something like this all right, first of all, if you guys can see, they give you a type C connection with a regular USB, all right? So uh, uh, fortunately, a lot of the machines come with um, now type C. I would recommend you get maybe a converter for that. And they, they, they have plenty of converters for those things. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that up too. Now, on this case right here, we get the actual 10 keys and this is, it has some weight to it. It has some weight and it sounds really good. Uh, you can hear all the commands going on there. Um, if you guys can notice, the profile is a little thicker than regular keyboards, all right? So you can tell it's good quality on it. And it has a couple of, it has a rubber stamps in here for you can actually move. And then it also has a little kickstand here too. So you can actually raise that for your ergonomical keys, you know? And then underneath of it, you got the actual wireless device, which is a USB. So you can do both on this. You can do a wireless device and you're going to have to charge it. As you can see, you charge it correctly, and once you have this charge, you could either use it wirelessly or you could use it with a cable. Either way, uh, it goes a good companion with any kind of machine when you're playing with your keyboard or games. You can even mobilize this. Very simple. So we're going to put this to use and see how well it works. So let's go ahead and place it together. We're going to put a USB on here. Before we continue, I'm just going to let you know, this is where you actually plug in your actual power source. And this is where you actually turn it on. It's just an off and on button. You click on to the right. That's pretty much it does it. We're going to go ahead and type a couple of things. As you can see, I'm, I'm pretty much typing, but I got to turn on the nom lock key. And you got to go into it. And if you can see, there's a light now indicating that it's on. And you can just constantly just go ahead and enter, 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 and then Work very well. Uh, noise wise, let's go ahead and test out the noise levels, right? All right, we're going to do the test level, the noise level. So those that are doing traveling, like I said, and you don't have a 10 foot key or you have an iPad because um, you could actually put this on an iPad on a mobile station. If you have an adapter, you can place this and add it into a 10 key. So it comes in handy for those that are accountants and don't get the actual right machine. They don't have a full key or anything like that. They have a short key and they don't have the 10 keys. Then this is a great option to have. You can expand this. You can use it anywhere. And like I said, it's mobile and it's easy, to, easy to take with you. And then I like this kickstand. That's a plus right there, kickstand. So you can always bring it up and type away. So if you have any questions or any comments, let me know. I'm your host, Frank the Tank, and we're out.